everyone's joining and today I'll be talking about my five star predictions. I like talking about my five star predictions and I have more five star predictions that I'm going to be predicting today. I know like I think all the books that are on my TV are five star predictions but these are the specific ones that I'm hoping will be a five star read but let's get to the five star predictions. The first book that I'm hoping that will be a five star read which is Poisoned by Jennifer Donnelly. This is a Snow White retelling. I've read two of her previous books before uh, Lost in the Book which was a five star read and same with Stepsister which was a Cinderella retelling with one of the stepsisters perspective and I do hope this is a five star read just because I really like a lot of her uh, uh, books but I know she got one that just came out this year called Beastly Beauty, which I'm really curious about, and and yeah, these books are really or um, stepsister that I've read um, previously it was a very quick read, and I I'm hoping this will be a five star read. So yeah, I am predicting that this is going to be a five star read, like the previous books that I've read by her. And the next book that I'm hoping there'll be a five star read, which is Peter and the Star Catchers by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. This is supposed to be like a a prequel story to Peter Pan, and I do. And I did a try a chapter of this book before, and I'm like, I really want to know what happens next. And I'm just really hoping this will be a five-star read, because I know this is a four-book series, and I know this ha came out when I was a kid, and I never got the chance to read it. So I do hope that this will be a five-star um, read for that reason. And the next book that I'm hoping there will be a five-star read, which is um, Heartless Hunter by Kristen... Um, says Sorelli. I'm sorry if I butchered the author's name, but this is supposed to be like compared to um, Serpent and Dove, which has um, uh, Witch and Witch Hunter kind of story, but I know it's supposed to be like different from Serpent and Dove from what I remember from the plot, but I do hope this is going to be a five-star read just because I know I love Serpent and Dove, and since this is compared to Serpent and Dove, I'm hoping it'll be a five-star read for that reason, and I know that some books I get from book boxes, book boxes, um, some of them end up five star reads for me anyway, and I do hope this is going to be one of them. And the next book that I'm hoping that will be a five star read, which is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I gave oh, most of our books five stars, and I know that she's one of my favorite authors, and I know about this, this is about a woman whose aunt passed away, and then she finds some random guy in her aunt's apartment, and he's supposed to be like a time traveler, and I did re read like at least some of this and then I DNF'd it, but I do really want to read this because I know I liked what I've read so far. I just wasn't in a mood to pick this up. And I do hope this is a five star read, just like um, her previous books that I gave five stars. <laughs> and the next book that I'm hoping to give five stars is Spectacular by Stephanie Garber. This is a Christmas novella that takes place in the same world as Carnival, or it's supposed to be like a 3.5 in the Carnival series. And I really hoping this will be a five-star read because I know I love the first two books in the series. The last book finale, I liked it, but not as much as the first book, and it was a four-star read for me. But I do hope this will end up better than finale just because of uh, my uh, me liking the previous books. And I know I love the series overall, and I do hope this will be a five-star read. And I do hope to read as soon as possible, especially when it's a Christmas novella. And the next book that I'm hoping there will be a five-star read is... After the Forest by Kel Woods. All I know about it, this is like a adult fantasy that's supposed to be like a Hansel and Gretel retelling from what I remember. And I know a lot of fairy tale retellings I gave in five stars. I know there were some retellings that were a very mixed for me, but I know I haven't read any uh, Hansel and Gretel retellings before. So I do hope this will be a, a five star read because I liked a lot of fairy tale retellings and they some of them had have ended up five stars for me and yeah I'm just really hoping it'll be a five star read for that reason. And the next book that I'm hoping there'll be a five star read which is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This was a very hyped book when it like when it first came out and it's still hyped because of her um, app, um, books after this one and I don't know much about this one other than that that like there was a woman who like made a biggest mistake of her life and then she runs into this guy that she never thought that she would see again or something like that and that's as far as I know and I know that a lot of hyped books are either hit or miss for me but I do hope this is a 
pick because I'm just really interested in reading her other books just based on the covers alone. So I do hope I end up in enjoying this one as much as some of the people that I've seen talked about this on booktube. And the next book that I'm hoping there'll be a five star read which is um, This Dark Descent by Kaylin Jovis, um, Joseph Sin. I'm sorry if I butchered the author's name but all I know about this book is about it's like a it's supposed to be there's like a horse race going on and I know that this is based on a Jewish mythology from what I've heard which I haven't heard many people talk about. Um, mythology in a Jewish culture and I'm just really curious about it and I know that I'm hoping that this will be a five star read because I've, I haven't heard many people talk about this on booktube but I know that it just sounds amazing like the story and everything and I just really like the owl creation but I'm just really hoping that I give this five stars and I know that the sequel to this is uh, coming out either this year or next year and I do help out um, it enjoy so I could read the sequel. And the next book that I'm hoping that will be a five star read is um, Dungeons and Drama by um, Kristen Bau um, Baus. I think that's how you pronounce the other's name. I honestly pre-ordered this book just specifically. Um, I'm married to a, a board game nerd and of course in the background of this book cover is all the board most of the board games that I'm familiar with so I'm like I gotta read this for that reason and it just sounds really cute and I know it's like a romance between um, a a board game nerd and a, a Broadway nerd as far as I know but it's just uh, like the lot uh, on the the male and uh, the main male character reminds me of my own husband so I'm like I gotta read this for that reason and I do hope it's a five-star read I know I've another book by her on um, the hot British boyfriend which I still haven't read yet but I do want to give these books a, her books a try just because both of them sounds really cute to me so I do hope one of them will uh, this one at least uh, would be a five star read. Just specifically, the male character reminds me of my own husband. <laughs> and the last book that I'm hoping to give five star is um, The Queen Will Portray You by Sarah Henning. This is a sequel to The Princess Will Save You. And you haven't read the first book. The first book is a Princess Bride retelling, except um, um, Buttercup will be saving Wesley, that kind of storyline. And I love the first book so much that I do hope the sequel will be five stars as well, and I do love the characters. I really love the world, and I'm just really curious about it. And I know that third book came out a few years ago, and I do want to read the whole series, and hopefully I enjoy the whole series because I love the first book so much, and I hope that I'll love this one as much as the first book. <laughs> so that is all for my five-star predictions. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what your five-star five, um, five -star predictions are because I would like to know. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!